Hello, everyone. Um, I, I want to start by, uh, you know, uh, personally and on behalf of the Lakers family, uh, offering condolences. Microphone out of the way. To um, shh, offering condolences to Vanessa Bryant and the entire Bryant family on the loss of Kobe and Gianna, and we are all deeply, deeply saddened by this unthinkable tragedy. And um, our thoughts and prayers are with you. I also want to offer condolences uh, to the the families of the the other victims that were lost in this tragedy. Our thoughts and prayers are with you as well. And uh, with that, I'll open up for questions. Coach, how emotional has this been for you? And your family at home, and your Laker family here. Uh, extremely emotional uh, on both fronts. Um, you know, it's been uh, something that has, has touched my family, being the father of daughters. Um, uh, it's been very emotional, and um, you know, something that you know, brings us together. Uh, and then, in, 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 as well as the Lakers family. You know, I, I'm around. Uh, you know, I'm around. Um, the people that were closest to Kobe, you know, throughout his time here. And, um, you know, it's been a, a, just a deeply saddening time for all of us. Frank, can you, can you describe how you um, broke the news to the, the team on the plane and um, kind of what the sentiment uh, of that moment was like? You know, for me, I just wanted to make sure everybody knew. And, um, you know, I, some of them had, had heard, uh, you know, I've seen the reports, some had not. Um, so it was just a, a daunting task of just uh, grabbing each guy one on one and letting them know. Obviously, the NBA canceled that game Tuesday. How do you know when this team can be ready? And you said it's pulled you together. How do you guard against it breaking you apart and losing focus? I don't think you could break us apart in any way. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just a feel thing. You know, you, you observe those around you, you observe your own feelings and emotions, and, um, you know, you, you uh, proceed at the right pace, at yeah. the right time. Yeah, Frank, has there been talk about playing this season for Colby, that sort of thing? You know, we, we want to we represent what Colby was about, you know, more than anything. Um, we've always, uh, always wanted to make him proud, and, um, you know, that's not going to be any different here. Frank, Frank, what, was the, what, what did you guys get done yesterday, and what do you think? Uh, what kind of work did that do for those guys emotionally? We uh, we did some things that that we felt would be therapeutic, therapeutically beneficial. Um, we got in the gym uh, for some uh, some team shooting work. Uh, no real practice, uh, working on anything in particular. I wanted our guys to come in uh, mentally free, uh, but to get a sweat, touch the ball. Uh, t to be around each other, and then, um, and then we had a lunch, you know, where we all, um, you know, just spent time together and uh, grieved together. Coach, Coach, speaking on behalf of the Lakers, if you had a chance, what would you tell Kobe Bryant? You know, I'm not ready to, to, to go there. You know, I, I really not. Um, you know, some questions I'm not just gonna, just, just not going to be able to answer right now. Frank, can you maybe tell us perhaps, perhaps a favorite Kobe story? Over the years? No, I'm not ready to go there okay. either. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. What have you learned about this team um, through these last few days and through this tragedy? Well, it's just strengthened what we've felt all, all year about our, our current group, which is, uh, you know, we've become a, a family in a very short time. And, um, you know, it's what you, something that you talk about in the NBA with your teams, uh, but this group in particular has really grown to love each other uh, very rapidly. And, um, you know, we understand the, the importance and the opportunity we have this year. And, um, you know, this has just brought us closer together. You Frank, speak, of being, you father think, uh, to, sorry, you speak of being a father to daughters, um, knowing how much he loved his daughters and supported women's sports and, and all beyond. What did that mean to you? I mean, it's just, you connect with that, you know, and, and, and you feel it, you know, because it's, it's what your life is about. Him, him being a father to daughters and uh, being involved in their sports was, um, you know, the most enjoyable thing, uh, you know, in his life. You know, from my observations, and it's the most enjoyable thing in my life. I love being the coach of the Lakers, but it doesn't come close to comparing uh, to my family time. And um, you know, so it's very relatable. Frank, how, 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 purple boom. Frank, how, 
How have, how have the leaders of your team, LeBron and Anthony, how have they um, tackled the task of leading this group um, going forward? It's really the same way they have throughout the year. You know, um, you know, we've we've collaborated with them on, um, you know, what the next few days should look like. Um, you know, they've been vocal um, in terms of, you know, just helping the helping the group. Um, manage their emotions and get through this. Right. What, what, did you, what did you do after you left the plane on Saturday afternoon? I went home and hugged my family. Frank, Frank um, obviously it's, it's tough to kind of do this with us and, and answer questions about the last couple of days. Um, was there sort of discussion with players about you kind of taking this on for them today or, or what was the decision process? Um, the decision process is... Uh, you guys can speak when you're ready and not before. Last two questions. Frank, Would you say, Frank, Frank, Frank you've been in the NBA for 20 years, uh, most of Kobe's career. Just wondered what impact you saw on the other players that you've coached uh, for, against, uh, trying to prepare a scouting report, you know, to deal with him, all, all that stuff. Well, he was the, the most feared man in the league for an entire generation. And, um, you know, the influence is profound uh, league-wide, basketball community-wide, worldwide. Uh, Lakers family, you know, wide, and um, you know his his influence will be felt forever. Frank, would you say it's fair to say, in addition to wanting to win it for yourselves, you guys now want to win the championship for Kobe? Would that be we fair? Wanna, we want to we want to we want to represent what he stood for. You know, that's that's the most thing for us, the most important thing for us. We want to represent what he stood for. Frank, what's your Friday's plan be for your your team, a team full of basketball players? I think it's therapeutic. Um, you know, anytime you can get out and take your mind off of something like this, uh, there, there's no doubt it will be therapeutic. Um, you know, and just just uh, help with the process of us moving forward. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Last question, Molly. Go ahead. Sorry. Jeff, I'm going to take this back. Absolutely. Everything we've done in terms of being together has, has been therapeutic.